Hi, welcome back to Classworks MTSS web series. I'm Judy Teven, Director of Curriculum here at Classworks. In our first episode, we took a look at a successful MTSS process. The MTSS process begins with two things, right? Assessment and instruction. On the assessment side, all students in general education are screened, right? On the instruction side, all students receive high quality on grade level instruction. So let's look at how screening can help make sure that we're on the right path with both. So first, let's talk about screening. What information is a screener going to provide? The first thing it should identify is the overall student performance level. This level is critical in determining the student's tier for intervention. Are they ready to learn at their grade level or are they performing below grade level? And is it one grade level below or two or more grade levels below? These struggling students need intervention. Now, the screener helps here too. Within the performance level, skills are identified where students have gaps in their learning. Those skills are put into an intervention to accelerate the student's rate of learning. Intervention at the student's performance level is the key to filling in those gaps and creating growth. Now, this next part is very important. The intervention needs to be monitored. That performance level that we just talked about is where a student should be progress monitored. Monitoring the intervention at the level the student is performing allows you to see if the student is responding to the intervention and ultimately determines tier movement during the intervention. So what about the class as a whole? Well, screener data is a snapshot of where every student is ready to learn. Teachers use this data to group students. The data gives the teacher like a heads up before entering certain content areas where students will struggle. This allows you to be proactive in analyzing curriculum and adjusting based on student need. Now, the most critical use of the screener is to identify students for tiers within MTSS. Many district MTSS plans include several data points to make a thoughtful determination for each student. Now, that data is used to determine tiers for all students, right? Now, this pyramid is a great visual. It embodies the concept that instruction and assessment is intensified for the struggling learner. Each tier builds on the next to create a plan that includes instruction and assessment to accelerate student progress. This allows educators to respond quickly to student need. Now, most of the students in your class are supported by just Tier 1. Typically, 80% of students fall into Tier 1, 15% Tier 2, and that five, last 5% 5 Tier 3. Students receiving Tier 2 supports are performing about one grade level below, and students receiving Tier 3 supports are two or more grade levels below their assigned grade level. But what if your pyramid is upside down like this one, meaning that you have more students who would fall into tier three than into tier one? Well, it's time to step back and look at your tier one instruction. It's quite an undertaking to analyze tier one instruction, but data can help. Look at your screener, screener data for trends, right? Identifying the weakest areas and shifting instructional focus can shore up your tier one instruction over time. For example, when a district sees overall weakness in algebra in seventh grade, work with those fifth and sixth grade teachers to devise an instructional plan to strengthen that area. Now, in the meantime, use data to identify your lowest 
focusing on this group of students is really the perfect starting place. So let's recap. What exactly does screening help you do? To sum it up, screening provides data to get your MTSS processes off to a solid start. Screening helps you identify student performance levels, assign students to tier support, and identify levels for progress monitoring. So you're going to use data to group students, identify weaknesses to prepare classroom instruction, and for the big picture, analyze tier one instruction. So now we have screened all of our students and identified students to receive tier support. So what now? Well, join me for part three as we look at assigning progress monitoring to track a student's response to their interventions. See you then.